Placing walls in KCDW is extremely easy to do. Simply go to the upper right corner and click on Add Wall. Then take your mouse pointer, which has changed shape. Hold your mouse key down where you want to start dragging the wall and just drag it. Now, if you want to know the length of the wall, look in the bottom right corner of the unit menu and you'll see that the actual length is changing as I drag it. If I go a little past what I want and back in, I can get it. Now, if that's not the length I want, I can always type a different number. Let's make it 126 and click OK. You'll notice the 126 measurement here and the actual number one which represents the wall number one. This also represents the back side of the wall. This is important because when we go to put up some cabinets, they're going to go to this side of the wall. Now, if we want to actually put another wall up, let's say to the left side of wall one, we just go to add wall, go to the left side of wall one, hold our mouse key down and just drag straight down. Now, notice the wall length in the bottom right corner of your unit menu. Let go. If that's not what you want, change it or click OK. There's wall number two, 101 and three quarters is the length. Notice it snapped to location there after we clicked OK. We're also in the floor plan view. This is important because if we want to change our view, we can, but at this point when you're putting up walls, you will be working in floor plan. Click on add wall, go to the right side of wall one, and come straight down, and let's just make that 79 inches. Let go, verify it, click OK. Now, when we first put up wall one and then wall two, we were going counterclockwise. Notice that we were able to put the wall three going the other direction. It doesn't matter in KCDW which direction you go in. Just put the walls up where you want them. At any point, if that wall length, let's say on wall number three or wall number two was incorrect and you've already put the wall up, just double click on that wall. The actual add change wall information comes back up and you change it. Let's make it 110, click OK, and it's that simple. Now, another thing you could do with walls after you've put them up is you could always move them around if you want. You could hold your mouse key down on the center of this wall and you get four arrows. This means that you're ready to drag it. And you notice the wall move as I drag. When I let go, it's there. Hold my mouse key down on the center, drag it, it's there. If I want to change the angle, I could grab this end of the wall and hold my mouse key down and change the angle. Or I could come down to this end of the wall, hold my mouse key, and it pivots from the opposite end. Notice the angle down in the bottom right corner as I move it. Let go and it changes. Hold my mouse key down here, drag it back up, snaps to location. So that's not what I want, just grab it, bring it back. It's that easy.